Hey guys, just thought uh, I'd show you a um, start up and uh, shut down sequence on a turbine heli. Uh, we'll just do an auto start sequence, we'll fly it around for a bit and then bring it back and uh, we'll go through an auto shutdown sequence. And I'll kind of walk you through what's going on. Um, so to uh, on, the Ren, uh, on the Ren's FADEX system to uh, get the turbine uh, set to the auto start sequence, uh, you just give a full uh, stick command throttle command, so up and down, and that'll put it into the start sequence. You'll hear it pop to life and slowly spool up, and like I said, then we'll go for a flight and we'll bring it back and uh, go through a shutdown sequence so you can see what that's all about. So here we go. So right now it's being fed uh, isobutane. As the temperature comes up, the electric motor is still spooling it around until we get up to a self-sustained RPM. And now it's probably getting some kerosene, fuel pumps on, fuel pump controls the actual speed of the engine. And uh, at this point we're at a sustained idle. And one thing you'll notice with the uh, larger birds, uh, folks with larger gassers will notice this too, with the larger mass in the blades, you can get a little bit of ground resonance. You'll see it's shaking a little bit now, it's just the uh, frequency of the RPM of the rotors is matching the natural frequency of the um, landing skids. And to get it out of that, you just give it a little extra power. And we'll probably run through another resonance, there's one right there. But once you get out of that, it's nice and smooth. Oh, we'll just slowly spool up here. To get it off the ground. Again, much heavier. This thing's weighing about 25 pounds. And uh, they fly really nice, really stable. You can fly them in a lot more wind. You just have to be a little bit ahead of the controls because it takes, they don't respond as quick. It's just quite a bit of mass throwing them through the maneuver. But they sure are smooth. Of course, you can see them at quite a distance, so... And the throttle curves on a turbine are quite a bit different. Um, they're pretty much flatlined after mid-stick. In fact, I've got mine flatlined after point uh, two on my seven-point curve. I've pretty much got it flatlined at 70% uh, power right from uh, point two all the way up to full stick. This is, there's so much power that uh, you, you certainly don't need to be running at 100% uh, turbine output. But just really nice, uh, nice machine supply. So we'll bring it in so you can uh, see what's involved in the auto shutdown sequence. Oh, nice and slow. Kind of cool seeing the heat waves coming out of these spots. Cool down here for a bit before we go through the auto shutdown. And all the all the shutdown does is uh, it stops feeding fuel to the um, to the turbine. And uh, you'll notice uh, you'll hear the little electric motor um, pulsing on and off. And that's just to keep air flowing through the uh, engine to um, to allow it to cool evenly, so nothing warps. So we'll just uh, shut it down here.
and there's the electric motor um, engaging the engine to keep the air running through it just to cool it down and it'll do that about six seven times uh, again there's a temperature sensor inside the uh, inside the engine so it knows um, it knows what temperature it is as it is cooling and on a really hot day those will cycle on more than on a cool day like today uh, it'll just take a little bit more airflow cycles to uh, to cool the engine down and uh, so I just thought you might be interested in that thanks